Many kings have made an impact in history through political means. The king that we are going to talk about today made history through a match. We are going to talk about the match king Eva Quaker. Eva Quaker is a Swedish entrepreneur, financial, industrialist, civil engineer, and Ponzi scheme mastermind. Ponzi schemes are devised by people scheming to make themselves rich at the expense of others. Eva Quaker is different. When he started his scheme, he was one of the richest person in Europe or even the world. He was so rich, many European countries decimated by World War I approached him for loans in their rebuilding efforts. Eva Kreger was born in Kalmar, Sweden in 1880 and graduated with a master's degree in mechanical and civil engineering at 20. He made his first pot of gold in the construction industry, pioneering a new concrete steel construction technique. The business that really made Eva Kreger famous was Swedish Mesh. Through what is now complicated Wall Street techniques, merger and acquisition, share swap, IPO, and so on. Eva Kreger controlled Sweden's mesh industry. He acquired many mines and companies that supplied raw materials. By 1930, Swedish mesh controlled 60% of the world's production of matches and is the sole producer in 33 countries. One of the reasons why Eva Kreger could create this monopoly is through the loan he provided to the government. By the late 1920s, Eva Kreger owned almost 200 companies all over Europe. Through many of these companies across different countries, Eva Kreger started a sophisticated Ponzi scheme. Eva Kreger made use of financial matters such as issuing dual class shares, bonds, convertible dependents, options, ADR, bank loans, as well as the relatively lax auditing requirements for balance sheet to move funds around all these companies. Promising double digits returns on investments, Ivor Kroger was constantly engaging in the process of raising funds and paying off earlier investors. The inflated stock market of the late 1920s gave Ivor Kroger a good platform to raise capital, tapping on the greed of many as with all Ponzi schemes, the collapse starts due to the Great Depression. Eva Kroger was unable to get in more funds to repay his loans and investors. At the age of 52, unable to handle the stress of so many complex transactions, Ivor Kroger was believed to have committed suicide. He leaves behind a legacy of Swedish match, Ericsson, Bolidon AB, Diamond Match, the Scandinavian Bank, spanning the mining, match, banking, timber, engineering, railroad industry, and so on. He is a successful businessman in creating many profitable monopolies. He is a pioneer in many financial instruments. However, he did swindle many investors as well. Is he a genius businessman or is he just a scam artist? Why did he create a scam when he is already one of the richest people in the world? That is a secret that he brings to his grave.